Okay. I'm going to turn this uh, cube into a pyramid. Um, this is part of the. Uh, this is from the um, GameDev.tv course that I'm doing, and I'm going to use this as a revision for myself. Okay, first of all, I'm going to raise the lower face and. Um, So that, it's, so that it's sitting on the X and Y plane. So make sure it's in it's in edit mode, which it is, and face select. Now face select and in edit mode. Select that face. Go into side view. Go G. And restrict it to the Z. It's the G to move. Restrict it to the Z and up by one. Job done. Next, we want to highlight the cuboid as it is now. And we need to scale it to 20 by 20 of those squares. That'd be 20 meters by 20 meters. Okay, so to do that, we hit S to scale. Um, we want to not um, scale it on the Z, so Shift Z, and so you scale it by ten, and enter. So that's now twenty by twenty. So that's a that's one step. We want seven of those. So to do that, we have to select the top face. Do insert by one and extrude by one. And keep on doing that until we've got seven of those large steps. So insert by one, extrude by one, 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 insert by one. We've got six extrude by one. Next we're going to build the um, the little the room at the top. So we want to actually insert by two and extrude by three. There you go. Looking like a mine pyramid already. So let's make sure that's in the front. So we're looking at the front front orthographic. Now, next thing to do is to put in stairs going up. Just going to do it in one one place, one side. To do that, we need to put in um, loop cuts. So if I it's Control and R, that's one loop cut. Left click, I mean right click to set, and we need to put in another one. Another loop cut, control and R, left click, drag across until it's over that first loop cut, and then left click again. Now we need to move eight, both of those to the side, one to one side, the other to the other side. So with the current one selected, with the current loop cut selected, we do G to move, translate, and Restrict it on to the x axis and one enter. So that's one of them done. Now that first uh, loop cut, you need to select that. So loop select, so alt, left click on the loop cut, and that's that selected. Now we've got to move that across to the other side. So G to translate and restrict it to the x minus one job done next thing to do is to remove these faces along here those ones now it's going to be in edit mode we are in edit mode we need face select and do circle select C 
and then highlight them. Nice. Next, we do delete. And it should be. Oh, hang on. Got to deselect, uh, circle select. So right click, then delete. And we want to delete faces. Uh, hang on. Do we want faces or vertices? Oh, no, we don't. Not vertices. Control Z. Control Z. Delete again. Vertices. No, stupid. <laughs> Control Z. Delete. Faces. Uh, that's it. Why did I forget that? Silly me. Good. Next, we want to put in a slope going from uh, that edge to that edge. So we need to go to edge select, click on that, that top left. Select that edge. And then shift and select that edge and then go F. One slope in. Next thing we need to do is extrude that and snap it to the corners of these large step things. So with that selected, we go to the, uh, not the front view, the side view, three key. Take that down. Now, now we need to use the snapping cook tools. So with my mouse tracker here, very useful software. Sword soft mouse track, completely free. <coughs> And we're going to use the uh, snapping tools. So we need to enable that and then set uh, what we snap to. So enable it and we're going to snap to vertices, so your incremental edge face volume. Snap. We're going to snap to vertices here. So that's selected. That's set up. We'll just make sure we've got the face selected. Good, good, good face of the slope go back to the side view put the mouse pointer over one close to one of the edges and then go e for extrude boom done nice with that done we now want to uh, bring that uh, edge and snap that to the uh, to here and the lower and the bottom edge is going to be uh, snapped to the ground so the top so we've still got Edge select, good. Select that edge. And then, let's see, vertex, snap to vertices. We'll try that. Now we've got to do G this time to move, because I move that, not extrude. So put the mouse pointer close to the uh, that vertices and do G. It's done it, excellent. Sometimes it's a bit picky, but it has worked. Good. Now for the bottom edge, click on that, go to side view, three key. Now we need to change um, the uh, what it's snapping to, to incremental. So click on that, increment. And then, we go G and see it's snap it's incremental between the little squares. And there you go. Job done. Nice. Next thing we want to do is put the walls, two walls in. Which will be on either side of the steps that people walk up. So we need to put use the um, loop cuts again. So, control and R, not that root cut, we don't want that set, that's the one. Now, before we click and set that, we use the middle mouse button, the wheel, to give us more loop cuts. We only want two, so with two showing there, we go left click, and then right click. Next, we want to want to scale that we need to separate them so to so to make the wall thinner on either side so we do s to scale restrict it to the x axis and then pull that across nice looking good and set that now we got to select those two faces that will be the top of the walls 
you need to do face select click on the top left there to face select select that face and shift and select that face and we need to extrude those up on the z-axis by two, uh, 0 0.2 so e to extrude on the z-axis by 0 0.2 next we need to extrude those out those two walls and snap them to this wall to the wall of the little build little room little building so we got face select select that face select that face we want to snap to face i think yeah we could go to vertices try face see what we, see what happens put the mouse over the face area and do uh, extrude Boom. that's it we didn't need to restrict uh, restrict uh, to an axis and it's just done it confirm that let's go into wireframe wireframe mode there click on that go to side view Zoom in a bit. Looks perfect. 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 Back to solid view. Next thing to do. Put in the steps. Put in the stairway. Start off with go to um, vertex select in the top left. There. Select that vertices to extrude to the z axis on the z axis by 0 0.1. So it's half the height of the actual wall. 0 0.1 will be 10 centimeters. It's one tenth of a meter each unit. Each one of these units is a meter. One meter by one meter okay so that's extruded up by 0 0.2 we need to extrude along the y-axis now so extrude along the y by 0 0.1 nice next we want to select the those two sides we've created so it's uh, edge select select the edge select oh, not that edge middle click to de why is that so it's not seeing oh there you go good actually there's there's multiple geometry in there i'll fix that by um Merging, merging duplicates, removing doubles, all that. Anyway, those two edges selected, we now, oops, I've deselected it, empty. Select, not that one, that one. Shift select the other one. And we want to, extrude it and snap it to there so try vertex yeah if no face go for face and extrude along the x so extrude along the x snapped excellent confirm that face front orthographic go to wireframe perfect Back to solid view right now we've got one step let's make more well, to do that we need to go to face select select that face select that face and we have to separate it from the uh, what's called the cube at the moment let's change that to pyramid pyramid With those two faces selected, we do we need to separate that to the, from the pyramid. So we do P, 
and then separate selection enter so now we've got pyramid 001 which actually is the stairs or step going to be the stairs now we need to duplicate that that step do that we need to have the stairs selected note right so now the pyramid is selected the stairs are not so we need to go into edit uh, object mode so tab go to object mode set and select the stairs click on the stairs now that's selected and we go to yeah, click on the modifiers tab over here <clears throat> and then add modifier add array modifier and see now it's actually duplicated it but it's duplicated along the x we actually don't want it duplicating along the x it's got to duplicate along the y and z so we change that in here We set X to zero, set Y to one, set the Z to one. Oops. There you go. Another step. We have two steps. So we can uh, now duplicate that by, by changing what's in the count. We can do that either by entering the value or click in the count left click and then drag across with the mouse and the stairs are duplicated done that's done a total of 70 steps wow that's a nice lot of steps good so with that done we now need to go and apply that and click on apply that's now set. Next thing to do is to um, combine the stairs with the pyramid. So they will become one. So left click in the in the top right and uh, have them both highlighted like that, and do Control and J. There you go. Stairs disappear because now it's all part of the same object. Looking good. Now with that done, let's take it into edit mode. I want to put a kind of ledge thing going all the way around, little hat. <laughs> so, and to do that, I need to do the um, loop cut again. Uh, mouse wheel to create two loop cuts. Left click and pull that up. You can actually do double G so it'll uh, stay in they so, uh, move along that um, object that it's it's on. Don't need to set the uh, axes. Okay, that looks good enough. Left click. Now we need to select this uh, lower loop cut. So Alt left click. G. I see. Yeah. See now, if I do G G double G. Oh, not yet. Double G. Come on. Or is it single G? Okay. <laughs> Left click to set that. Now we want to uh, create, uh, select the loop of um, faces. So click on face select in the top left. Alt and click on the face at the edge of the face. And it selects the loop. Good. Now, if we we uh, scale this out now, it's going to pull everything out. Don't want that. We just we just want it to create uh, more geometry in there. So, t in order to do that, we have to trick it by doing an extrude, extrude, extrude it along the X. Right click. Now there's more geometry in there, and we should and we can do scale, scale. There you go. Okay, that's scaling along the x y and z we don't want it um we could have it scaling along the z but let's restrict the z shift and z that's only scaling along the um x and y 
left click, set. See, it's nice and even all the way around. Awesome. Okay, let's create a little room. Uh, we've got face select, so select that face, and we're going to use um, subdivised division. Let's do a session. So space sub divide subdivide that's it subdivide select that excellent so now we can face select again actually let's let's just dissolve let's get rid of that top that top that edge there so if we do edge select select that edge do space again and what's it called dissolve dissolve edges and it's done that's gotten rid of that edge back so okay, let's have a face select now face select and uh, start creating a couple of rooms with that selected let's go into side view and wireframe now we do G. No, we don't do G. Right click. We do extrude. Let's extrude it to there. Then extrude again. This has created more geometry. So we've done double extrude. So we've now got. We go to solid view and face select. See, we've got. We can select a face within there. And then we can extrude that along the other way. Let's go to uh, front view. Wireframe, extrude, right back to about there, back into perspective. See, it's got those little rooms there. Nice. Go back to solid view. There you go. Now you can select that there and go extrude that out that way. Got a little room there. In fact, let's do go a bit silly. Yeah, extrude that there. Extrude that there. Oh, actually, how do we accept? Uh, that's not going to be so. Oh, hang on. That's, that's, oh, you managed to select it. Nice. That is cool. Selected that face, so now I can do an extrude. I've got a little room around there, so you can go in, go in there, round. Ooh, I'm loving this. Loving this. Back to solid view. And that's it. That's everything for that for that uh, part of the course. I think this recording's gone rather well. At least I hope it's actually worked. <laughs> awesome. I'll link the course down below. If anyone who happens to run across this thing wants to take a look. Very good course. This is only one small small part of it, but you know it's useful for for revision for myself. Anyway, job done. <laughs>